In every culture, life is expressed through music. And since in every culture there are seasons, something about the seasons is expressed through music in every culture. They're expressing the same things as we all are, but we're all singing our own individual songs and speaking it in our own languages. And yet we can understand each other's languages. That's the miracle of music. different ancient cultural traditions coming together and celebrating their way of making music. It's very, very unique. Vivaldi's The Four Seasons is one of the pillars of Baroque music, so it's really very close to our hearts at Tafel Music. We are not only a, a very Western kind of an orchestra, of course, but we specialize within that Western tradition in Baroque and classical repertoire. But we live in a multicultural city, and we wanted to create a concert program that reflects our home. So we asked ourselves, how could we reinvent the Four Seasons and bring it from 18th century Europe into the 21st century? We were inspired by our cultural mosaic, which allows people from all over the world to come together and share and learn from each other, and also to create something new together. We invited other musical traditions from our own neighborhoods, Chinese, Indian, and Inuit, to participate in a reimagining of Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Project because this is uh, include the whole world. think of another place that these cultures and, and countries can come together and make music that way. So it's really nice to have an opportunity to work with, with these great musicians. One of the big challenges we faced was finding a contemporary composer who could meld all these different musical cultural traditions with Vivaldi's music. <laughs> how are you? Okay. Hi, how are you? You all made it. Yeah. I worried that you wouldn't get here in this storm. So I called Michael Dana, who's a very well known, wonderful film score writer. And I said, Michael, I have this very strange and wonderful project I'd like to talk to you about. And at first he said, oh my, how are we going to do that?
It's hard to find a way to make these different cultural worlds meet. Two of the four cultures don't use written music. It's all oral tradition. So how do you write a piece of music for someone who doesn't read what you've written? I mean, how do you do this? And only someone like Michael can actually make that maybe work. Just to begin, you could play the full chord, just to kind of establish our, our 